My name is Angela Okwakon. I'm a journalist by training and profession. And uh, my task today is to discuss what um, Dr. Gordon has called Sunrise Daughters. It will be funny if I say this is the third time I'm meeting Dr. Gordon. I had to do a report recently. It was a very sensitive report. Um, it wasn't exactly a pleasant meeting. But I'm grateful that Dr. Goji could see that I just had to do that job, and at the end, he appreciated that. Let me acknowledge the idea behind this. Everyone has commended you for taking out time. I will also try and write my notes, just as they have challenged uh, our former speaker. The Sunrise Water. Daughters, because it's a global portrait of evil women. One thing is obvious. Dr. God likes women. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. So he dedicates the book to, the, to his sisters. There is no mention of his. I would have thought his wife. I know he has a beautiful wife. If you go to his office, you'll see the massive picture there. So he dedicates the book to his sisters, which is a long statement. He, for me, it's obvious he respects women, he loves and respects women. The time to obviously is a subtle boast as an evil man. Sunrise, he was associated with sunrise. So, for Dr. Gorge, is a subtle boast that he's an evil man. It is not shared into chapters, actually. It's, it takes brief citations of different women, strictly of evil origin, scattered around the world, scattered. Some are in, um, some are in the lineage of the 1980 something, so that gives you an idea. Some are in the 1940s. But as at the time this book was written and published in 2009, everybody in the book was alive. The foreword was given by Linda Kemalfo Chipper, and Honor Bema gave the preface. So, it's obvious that Dr. Grant is from the same, so we understand where his evil trajectory starts from. And he has bias. In the book, it's obvious he has bias for women. He has bias for history. He has bias for evil culture, as it were. He tells the stories of young girls, women, grandmothers, great grandmothers, and even those that have now transited. Somebody like um, Chief Mrs. Tinea Sika, God rest her soul. It comes to what ordinarily. There are some persons that may never grace the TV stations, as it were. Their stories may, may not look outstanding or remarkable. But what the book has done is to tell the stories of women. Deliberately is a subtle way of saying, why are you me here? Hello? It's a subtle way of saying, why are you me here? It tells the stories of footballers, actresses, models. Politicians, the Almighty Lila Kemalfo Shikwe is one of the people chronicled in the book. It has 70 women. It is it is profiles 70 women drawn from different sectors. Some are health providers, some are nurses, medical doctors, pharmacists. There are political giants like uh, the late Professor Dr. Dora Akwe, the God rest her soul. We also have somebody like Dr. Ada Okwama, former deputy governor, Dr. Urozi Okwamuje Iwara, and several others. The Sunrise Hunters, as it were, brings the unsung commander's recognition and acclaim. That's the way I describe it. It celebrates the oldest contributions of evil speaking women around the world. Some, like I said, are footballers like the chair generating. The giant ambition for me is to tell people that your daughters 
your sisters to serve more. If they get good education, if they get good exposure, the sky can't even remain them. The book addresses the education of women indirectly by telling those stories Dr. Ogaji is ambitious to tell people that your daughters, you know sometimes in this time, you have four daughters, and in your mind, you don't have a child yet. I'm talking to you. Let me know for trouble. So for those people that will think, I don't know who they want, who they want, what this book has done is to highlight the contributions of women, small, big, medium, mighty, different sectors, age brackets. I remember when I was growing up, there used to be a dead face of Africa. Every young girl in those days wanted to grace those magazines. It discusses Oluchi, Oyaba, and several others. So what Dr. Goethe has done is to write a book. I must comment, I must confess, sorry, I can be easily distracted. The book is written in a factual manner. These are people's citations. These are people's CV you can keep track of. It's written in simple language. And he has put in great effort to locate and tell the stories of these women in different places. Some of these girls, as it were, those that were born abroad, some have not even stepped foot into their place of origin here. But the fact that they bear evil stories, Dr. to watch it two time to locate and tell their stories. The only unifying factor amongst all the 17 women mentioned is the fact that they are women and that they are equals and that they have excelled in their human endeavor. Dr. Watch tells a story on who we may never meet. Some of those ladies we may never meet them. Yes. Those women have put the history of evils on the world map. I commend Dr. Gorgi for this beautiful book. In this day and time, we are used to what they call feminism. Apparently, this book is feminism personified. Thank you.